Hey guys, this is Diana and today we're going to learn how to create this animation and we are going to talk about the two new uh, functionalities in Canva that they launched this year. It's about video and music, so it's going to be very exciting. Stay in the video till the end. Okay, so for this animation, I'm going to use this uh, presentation template and uh, for this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this animation really really quick and then we're going to move to the meat of this video tutorial that is the videos and music functionality okay so let's go to elements and uh, we're going to frames see all and we're going to select a phone then I'm going to upload if uh, you see here we have uh, images and videos. So I already uploaded my video. I filmed this video with my phone actually and then I just uh, dropped the video here and I'm just going to drag this video inside this phone. So as you can see uh, the videos are inserted into this uh, frame which is really really cool. I was really really hoping for Canva to do this so I'm so happy with it and then I'm going again to elements and I'm going to select uh, search for blob liquid as you know I'm crazy about these elements and I use them all the time now so I'm going to select this one here I'm going to make it a little bit bigger like this because uh, if you see here, the animation gets uh, kind of like cut here, it gets cropped. <laughs> so I'm going to take this animation uh, backwards, so it goes behind the phone. And then I'm going to search for spark sticker, spark plus sticker. And then I'm going to use these sparks uh, close, you, like we need to see where this uh, blob movement is going so I'm going to put them where the blob is moving uh, where is it uh, around here maybe goes like this okay yeah so this is cool because we can see these sparks uh, in just some sections of them of the video okay yeah, so it's kind of like a little touch, little detail, but uh, it gives something now to the video, to the animation. Okay, so now let's talk about video and music. Okay, I'm going to show you this in a new page. Uh, I'm going to video, and no, uploads, and I'm going to show you my video. Okay, so, uh, oops, <laughs> uh, so here, when I touch this video, you see that here it appears some um, tools or functionalities that we didn't have before. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to show you that we can crop the video. So we can actually take some parts of the video out. Like for example here, let's say that I want less um, ceiling <laughs> and then I can just crop it or I want to see less of my shirt I can also crop it here and then I'm going to click here in done we can also do this with the these anchor tools like little dots here you see so we can also crop the video like this which is really amazing I think it's really uh, easy to use and then we can also trim the video oops okay so for example this video is almost 16 seconds and we want a 10 second video so like this we can just crop um, the length of the video and if we want to also like move the this um, section of the video we can do it like for example we want to uh, take this beginning out of the video and the end of the video so we do it like this and then click here done okay so this is the difference between crop and trim 
and then uh, we have the usual elements here like duplicate so we can duplicate our video or we can use the position um, tools and uh, what I find really useful are these two so here we can adjust the volume of our video and we can also put some transparency to our video so we can get very creative with these tools here so this is what I really like about videos this uh, uh, the volume tool transparency and these two tools here I really use them a lot so I'm really thankful to the Canva team for that I also love I'm loving <laughs> the um, the frames uh, that you can use it with video that is really amazing and uh, let's go to music so uh, what Canva did is that they they created a partnership with Epidemic Sound which is a music library and we have music now we can add music to our videos which uh, wasn't possible before and this is really really awesome okay so here we have this music so far these songs and uh, i believe all of them are free but with uh, time i think they are going to keep adding music and each track is going to cost three dollars okay so this is it and let's say for example i want to use the first song this one so if you can see here when I'm going with my mouse above each song we can play and listen to the songs so let's for example listen to this one so like that we can like uh, preview each song and then I'm going to add this song to this video so I'm going to click here and then the song is kind of like embedded to this design, <laughs> to, to this video. And when we click here, we can play a little bit with this song. So for example, uh, I don't want to use the beginning of the song, but I want to add somewhere here. We can preview to like this section of the song and play around. And then when we are ready, when we feel like, yeah, this is the part of the song that I would like to use, I just go here and click done. Another thing that I really um, am happy uh, with these uh, music tools is that we can also adjust the volume. And um, I'm saying that is very useful because in this case I have a video of myself speaking to you guys and I want you to be able to listen to me. <laughs> but I also want to have a background music, no, a background song. song. So uh, here I think I'm just going to leave the music, like a background music in five points and then click here in done. So like that I have an animation in the background of this video. I have a video of myself talking to you guys and a background song. This is really amazing guys. So thankful to the Canva team for this. And yeah, so the last thing I wanted to show you is that we can download this as a video here. And if the song uh, was a paid song, we will see it here. Uh, I think I will show you quickly. So yeah, you will see here in the download uh, section, if you have uh, a song that is a paid song, you will have to pay this amount. So one time use is $3 and one time use video is $5. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. I think with time, uh, we are going to see more paid videos and more paid music. So yeah, it's not only our uploaded videos, Canva also have a big library of videos here. And I suppose with time, they will continue um, uploading more videos to Canva for us to use. Okay guys, so this is the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and that you start creating more videos and animation in Canva. If you create any new animation that you are proud to share, please share it in the comments down below. And I hope to continue in touch and to see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye. <laughs>